What is Gucci, everyone? It's AJ. I'm back. It's a rainy day in Virginia, but I'm having a great day. Now, this video, I want to make another utility function in Swift, just like my last video, about how to easily scale images appropriately in Swift and iOS. You'll probably be working with images a lot in any kind of app you make, whether it's just to display something. And so this is how to size them down appropriately if you realized that you may need to change the size of the image throughout the app, okay? And what we're gonna do, what I've started doing, is we're gonna create an extension for UI image. And so this class, this method, is going to belong to the class UI image. And UI image is created by the Apple gods back in California, but through the power of extensions, we can add on to the functionality of this class and give it another method. And so we're gonna give it a class function and we're gonna call it scale image to size. And it's going to take a image, UI image, it's not auto completing for me. And it's gonna create a size, which is going to be a CG rect. And it's going to return a, U, a UI image. Boom. Okay, so now we're going to do a few things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to explain how this is going to work. Now, I'm getting passed in my image and I'm getting passed down the size I want the image to be. So the size could be like 2000 pixels by 1000 pixels, but I want the size to be 100 pixels, 100 pixels, I said pickles, by 200 pixels. Okay, and so the way we do this is first, we need to create a canvas, then we need to draw the image, and then we need to take off the canvas, get the image, and return that image. Now, before I create the canvas, as I said, I wanna show you why I purposely said create the canvas. If you, If you look in the documents, you will see that the image class or the I can, on the image object, I can use a method called draw in rect and I could pass in size. Now, it would be pretty normal to think I could just pass in draw in rect, call that, and then that would change my the size of my rectangle. And then I could simply do return IMG. Well, just to save you guys some testing, this will not work because simply I have not created the canvas. This draw in rect as it works in iOS does not have anything to draw in. It, it's not going to change the image size already. It needs to redraw its image at that size, the size that you give it in its parameter. And so to do this, we need to give it a canvas or as the method we're about to use is called a context. To create this context, we simply call a method that you may never have seen before. That's called UI graphics begin image begin image context. And then we pass in the we pass in the size. So this is what automatically is going to create a canvas for us within this method to draw on. And I made an error guys here. This takes a CG size here, which is not a CG rectangle. A CG size just has a width and a height. And so, and a CG rectangle has a width and a height also with a starting point, which is the top left corner of the rectangle. And so I need to solve this by making a, uh, making a CG rect for my draw and rect method. And we're gonna do two things here. Since it takes a CG rect, our origin can be a CG point zero, which is like saying the starting point is zero, zero. And then we can pass in size right here. I must be separated. I think I just have too many quote. Yes, I had too many braces. So we create our canvas, which takes a CG size. And then we draw on our rect, which takes a CG rectangle. So we create a CG rectangle and pass it in. And so we draw our rect on our passed in size, what size we want the image to be. And after drawing it, we need, after drawing it on this canvas, it, we have now created a different image. So we're gonna create a variable called scaled image and get this image back from the canvas. 
And we can do this by calling UI. <laughs> These methods are really long. I'll make a gist of this and put it in the comments so you guys don't have to copy all this. Get image from current image context takes no parameters. So that gives back our scaled image or an image on the canvas. And then we can simply do return scaled image like that. Also to save memory, we can do UI graphics and image context. So that means we're going to end basically our canvas and tell our program that we don't we no, we no longer need this canvas for the rest of our function, so you can throw it out the window. And if we need another one, we'll just get another one. And this provide this will stop memory leaks, or will make it the jobs easier for the computer to say, "Hey, we're done using this part of memory, or done using this context," and do it. So I, so in this video, I did a few things. I melded canvas with context. I feel canvas is it's a close word to context, and it makes you see things better, that you need to create this context to be able to draw the image on it to get the image back. You're creating a canvas of the size you want the image of, drawing on it, and then getting it back. And this will, as you see, make your images better. Note, some a side note I just want to add at the very end, that iOS now works in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But if you're really particular on Illustrator or Photoshop, make all your images in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and they'll look better. I did that for one of my apps, and it did look better. And it was pretty easy. Also, Apple loves PNGs by default. If you look online on the docs, they say this. They um, provide ex they provide um, enhancements for PNGs automatically in their code. So if you comply with them and just use P on PNGs instead of JPEGs, life will love you. iOS will love you. Without, without a doubt, this has been a great video. It's been a great day, guys. Have a great day and have the best day of your lives. Subscribe below if you want to. See you later.